Let's look at the structure of RNA. So if you go to the slide, we will see that RNA consists of also a phosphate. And if we can just go to the slide, it also consists of the phosphate. And then the sugar here is ribose. And um, what makes RNA different from DNA? DNA, the shape of DNA that we didn't get to now, and um, I wonder how many of you can just type in for us what that very f um, um, popular shape is of DNA, and then um, we can, can see how many of you will respond to that. But RNA is only a single strand, a net a enkel string. In what you are careful for with VS by leaders is geneig om te praat van a enkel jelix. Dis nie a enkel jelix nie, dis nie in die jelix nie, dis slechts a enkel string. Weer eens sal jy sien, the sugar there is called ribose. And um, if you can remember, the sugar of DNA is deoxyribose. Then we have four nitrogen or nitrogenous bases. And where is, is this different from DNA? You will see that we still have adenine, we still have guanine, we still have cytosine, but this is something that we don't have with DNA. And here, the nitrogenous base that differs here, thymine is totally absent in RNA. And it is replaced by uracil. So since adenine will always combine with thymine, when RNA will copy DNA, adenine will not um, combine with thymine, but instead with uracil. And that is a very important thing to remember from starting from scratch.